To help with power conservation, the city of Austin ordered manufacturing, industrial and commercial businesses to slow or stop operations as much as possible. But as KXAN's Tahir al-Rahman found out, that didn't happen for some of the biggest companies until Tuesday after so many homes were already in the dark. I had to put my mattress in the kitchen and kind of turn on and off my stove. Samantha Reyes says she knows it wasn't safe, but was desperate going on two days without power. While thousands of people like her faced outages, the single mom wonders why some big companies were allowed to operate. You're really taken away from a lot of families when you do stuff like that. That's not right. The top 10 customers probably constitute between 300 to 350 megawatts. Trey Salinas represents those energy customers, which include Samsung, NXP, and Infineon. Austin Energy says a typical home only needs 877 kilowatts per month. Based on our calculations, one day of large industrial operations could power nearly 12,000 homes. Austin Energy's largest customers are, have done their part, are doing their part. Selena says many companies started slowing down operations over the weekend, but says the five chip making plants that use the most energy weren't shut down until Austin Energy cut power on Tuesday. Do you think that if companies or these plants shut down Sunday, or even Monday instead of Tuesday, it would have saved homes from blackouts? No, because we, 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 had, we had a problem that started Sunday night. And so you had a slow ramp down for everybody that was occurring. Again, remember, a lot of this ramp down started over the weekend even before everything went out on Sunday. We turn to an expert for perspective. Customers are cheaper from the societal viewpoint to be disconnected than large industries. But he says in a case like this, numbers shouldn't be the only factor in the outage equation. Because their losses are far greater, there are health risks at stake, right? Reyes's lights finally turned on overnight, but with her food now spoiled and icy roads, she's relying on what's in stock at convenience stores and the kindness of neighbors. I don't give up hope. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. We asked Austin Energy why it didn't cut off power to those high energy chip making plants sooner. They got back to us this evening saying that they worked closely with the companies to shut down in a safe and controlled way. Those facilities work with chemicals that require planned shutdowns. Austin Energy also says that while the semiconductor companies are some of their largest customers, they represent less than 8% of the company's peak load.